Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot. This is going to be a general zodiac reading for my air signs. So it isn't going to resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave what doesn't. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a reading again. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Getting ready for Christmas. We have an eclipse coming up. So let's start with, I see Gemini. So we're going to do Gemini. Okay, so let's see, what do we have for you guys? And uh, don't forget guys, this reading will be time stamped as well in the description box below. So let's see, what's going on for my Geminis? Okay. Meditate and contemplate. So that's new moon in Pisces. So remember guys, um, to check the zodiac signs in your chart because we're not just made up of one star sign. Uh, in the description box below, you'll actually see um, a link where you can calculate that with Little Crab Astrology. All right, should we, should we jump right in? I don't know. Should we do it? I don't know. Let's see. Start here. Okay, so we're going to start with Gemini, as we said, right? I'll take them. I'll take them. Oh, okay. So we have listening. We got choices. High Priestess of Air. Chaos. The Warrior. And Denial. Ooh. Okay. Um, I want to use you guys. Okay. I kind of get the vibe that like you... A lot of you haven't really been listening to yourselves lately and I think maybe you're trying to block out a lot of what is actually going on in your life right now. I do think that some of you are probably staying in a situation where, you know, it's not good for you. You probably are in denial. Some of you are probably choosing to, um, you know, maybe hope that this person is going to stay with you or that you should be staying with them. Um, it kind of feels like you know that this is over and you know that you're supposed to leave. And so the universe is now sending something your way to completely disrupt you. It seems to me like you're not going to be able to block this out any longer. Okay. So there is a choice coming that you will have to make. All right. So let's, let's go a little bit deeper. All right. Gemini, what do we have? So we definitely have Gemini here. And we've got Capricorn here, yeah. So we've got Queen of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Five of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. High Priestess. Here's that Pisces energy coming in as well. Six of Swords. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like whoever you're dealing with, especially if you are a masculine watching this, um, I feel like your other half is planning something. Okay, they're keeping something a secret. All right. Um, I don't know. It feels like they... Yeah, Justice. I... Especially if you have children with this woman, okay? I, I really feel like I'm talking to a guy right now. Ladies, I'm going to come back to you, okay? But if you have children with this person, you want to be careful because I feel like you're a provider anyway and you would take care of your responsibilities, but it seems like that's not enough. Like the person you're with is going to want to take it all. That is probably your fear as to why you don't want to leave. Um, you know, but I feel like the feminine here is planning something. She's moving as if she isn't. OK, but she is. She's holding a secret. I feel like there's going to be some type of pause or separation or there's something that's happened in you because you guys could live in the same house, but you ain't dealing with each other. You're not talking with each other. And she's basically creating some type of plan is how I feel to really probably take you for everything you're worth. I don't know. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. So. It's almost like this person knows as well that the marriage or the relationship is over. And so it's like, well, I'm going to need to get what I want out of this. Like, you're not just going to sail off into the sunset as a single man or whatever it is. Um, and there'll be no repercussions from you. I feel like, you know, you know, you know your wife or you know your, your, 
your significant other. Okay, and it it almost feels as if she's because she's very grounded. I feel like she's able to make her own money. She's secure in that way. But I feel like now her jealous rage is sort of coming out and she knows that she's going to be leaving you soon or she knows that you're going to be leaving soon. And so basically she's just trying to start a lot of conflict and drama. You might find soon that you've got family members getting involved. You might even feel like she says things in front of you. Sorry. In front of the children about you as well. Um, oh, Gemini. This Yeah, look, see, we got the death here. She's really angry. So whatever it is that's gone on between the two of you and where you guys are at, she's extremely angry right now. Okay, it's going to be almost like a hothead kind of situation going on here. Like, I'm taking you down, you know, it's that kind of thing. All right, I want to flip this quickly because if you are a feminine here and you're dealing with this masculine, to be fair as well, you could be dealing with this masculine and this is what he's going through. Right. So maybe there's a delay in terms of you guys getting together, but it's just because this is the situation now. OK, but I do want to say that your masculine has done this to himself because whatever he's trying to avoid is inevitable. So even though he's trying to hold on and stay in this relationship because he knows what his feminine is like, it's inevitable that this is going to end anyway. Right. So it, all he's doing is really pro prolonging everything. And which is actually making the situation worse because this woman is coming after him and she wants everything. She wants the house. She wants the money. She wants everything. She wants the kids. <laughs> she, she wants it all. All right. So they oh, OK, too many. So they really are asking you. They, they need you to. Yeah, look at that. And then we got the tower and we got the queen of cups. I, I kind of feel like. They're asking you to meditate and contemplate because they need you to clear your mind because right now it's probably going a thousand miles an hour, especially if you are a masculine watching this. Um, you're not really able to see things clearly. Um, and the fact that you can come out of this and start again, you're going to anyway at some point. So, you know. All right, what's going on? And we got karma. I almost feel like this feminine is trying to teach you a lesson like I don't know, taking you to the cleaners or whatever, but I do feel like there's another feminine around you. So this is probably where you come in if you're the feminine watching this and you really want this situation to end, like you want this situation to just blow up, okay? Just so that you can nurse them back to health and you can encourage them and you can give them everything of you to let them know that they're gonna be okay, all right? Because you want a reconciliation with this person. I've <laughs> Yeah. So we got eight of cups. I feel like a lot of you, I even think if you're a masculine as well, you might want to be careful because if you were socializing or more than socializing with some feminines in the past, they are also coming back to destroy your family home as well. So if any of this has already been playing out and happening, I suggest you really do. I don't know. It's time for you to go because it's going to get worse. And I would suggest you start protecting, you know, your finances and all types of things. OK, yeah, look, we got the five of five of swords. So there is there's just going to be a lot of conflict coming up over Christmas. OK, and even after that, we've got the chariot here. Right. What else do we have? And yeah, and then we've got we've got your queen of swords. And we got the king of wands. Yeah, I even feel like your if it's your wife's brother or someone, they're getting involved in it as well. And they're actually informing her on how she can do this and how she can do that and how she can take this. OK, yeah, I think I feel like she's got other people working with her to help her. I feel like there's a lot of greed here when it comes to her. But you know what? It's a woman scorned. So, hey, is what it is. Yeah, so I do feel like Gemini, there's a new work situation that is going to be coming up for you okay and it's kind of coming out of the blue and it really is going to release you from what you're going through and I feel like maybe you might even see a way out with this like okay if I have to give this up this up this up it's okay because there's new love here and there's new money coming in for you as well all right there is almost this betrayal that is going to take place but at the end of the day 
I feel like there's someone more suited for you anyway that you want to be with. Yeah, so you're going to get this new beginning. But to be honest with you, you are really going to need to... Um, you need to be the catalyst to all of this, okay? I, you know, the universe will do it for you, but it's, it will be even worse, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, there's, I feel like there's a lot of quarrels over the family home, and I feel like the masculine has invested a lot into the family home. You know, and maybe he's a bit older, um, so he's worried about how he can rebuild and buy a new house and do all these things in such, such a short space of time. But with the right care and love and nurturing, I feel like from the other feminine, you'll be able to do it like that. And I definitely feel like you could have a power couple situation coming up as well with this new feminine. All right. Some of you, you know, this feminine from partying. I don't know why. Partying? I don't know. That just came out. So I don't know what that means. Well, I do. But you know what I mean? Because it could be a more serious connection than that. I feel like you have two or three... I'm going to go with two other options, all right, that is coming in for you or that you already kind of know. Um, but yeah, I feel like they really want you to connect to your intuition because they want you to see what is happening in front of you. OK, and I think the thing that I feel like the denial is coming out because you kind of feel like this is going to be OK, like you can continue like this for the next 10 years and nothing's really going to change because it would have changed by now. It's not true. Okay. You are being uprooted. There is a change. Okay. All right, Gemini. Yeah, but we have great fortune here. So Unexpected income. Yeah, I feel like the feminine that you're dealing with, okay, whether this is the person you're married to or, or living as if you were married, it's their family have a lot to do with this as well. Like their, her father, her grandfather, whatever. And she really wants to be this privileged lady. Like she's not coming out with half. She wants to come out with all. Okay, but the more you hold on to that, is the more the universe is going to pry it away from you, okay? Because you're wasting your life. Yeah. I, I, I do feel like there's a lot of people involved in this situation, so it's so hard, you know, and I, I totally get it. Okay, if you are going through any legal issues now, especially when it's coming to work, you're going to win, all right? Yeah, I really feel like this is more about the house than anything else. But they're saying that they, you just stick to your high honour, okay? Don't, as hard as it is, don't fight fire with fire. And this is another thing why they're asking you to meditate and contemplate, okay? Because it's easy for you now to go, okay, you trying to take this from me? Oh, watch this. You know, and they don't want that. Because then we're just creating more negative cycles and more negative karma, okay? More drama, basically, for you to resolve, okay? When it looks like you're going to have enough of that. You feel me? Or the masculine you're dealing with is going to be going through it very soon. All right? So I feel like what they want from you is support, okay? They just need a loving, kind heart, someone to just listen to their problems. You know, I don't even feel like this person is really reaching out to you for sex or anything like that. I feel like they're too stressed out for sex, <laughs> So I feel like they, they just need support, okay? I do see a masculine who is very sad, okay? And I really wanna give him a hug because that's how I feel right now. He's, he's so stressed. So I feel like there's, there's some nurturing here that this masculine does need. I don't think this masculine is a bad person at all, okay? It's just that, you know, they don't wanna be in their situation anymore. That's, they're telling the truth. OK, but it's very complicated. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, your masculine has a lot of history with this woman. OK, like they've been together for umpteen years. All right. And so that's kind of the issue here. But. Yeah, I even feel like this, the feminine likes to spend money a lot. You know, she's probably always upgrading the house, buying things, buying things for herself. 
stuff like that and really just bleeding this masculine dry but he's also trying to be clever with other things all right let's throw a few more out there go on do it all right let's have a quick look yeah so i think Yeah, it it, really, it kind of seems like maybe this masculine has been, you know, you guys have had some some intimate moments with each other. I kind of feel like now they just really need to talk about their situation, okay? But there is a sudden change coming in for them and it's not going to be good, okay? It's not going to be good at all. A lot of, <laughs> I don't want to sound mean, but some of this, no, that's my microphone. And some of this is karma, you know, and that's why it kind of has to happen. And, you know, whatever has been done in the past, it's going to be addressed now. Okay, whether this masculine likes it or not. All right, Gemini. Courage and faith. I embrace courage, faith and adaptability as they are needed for me to overcome my fear of change. <laughs> or of the future. I regularly remind myself to be positive and open to possibilities, knowing that I am the creator of my own destiny. And that is what I'm saying, guys. Your masculine is so intelligent. He's so smart. His mind is amazing. Um, anything he puts his mind to, he can do. And he's extremely talented. So he's almost forgetting these qualities about himself. And maybe it's because of his age that he doesn't want to start again. But you got to get used to starting again. You just do, okay? Got to start again. Um, I embrace the warrior within me. I remind myself to be a warrior, not a warrior. I am not a victim. I feel the fear and I do it anyway. I am ready and eager to move forwards. That's beautiful. And I feel like if you are the masculine watching this, this is what they want you to understand, right? Which is what I've been saying. Uh, let's see. Gemini. Oh, I see a really good looking masculine too, so. Not that that means anything, but you know. And then we have forgiveness. It's too many. You know, they, they almost want you to have forgiveness for the person that you're with now, okay? And if you're dealing with this masculine as well, you know, they want you to forgive them, like for maybe not being there the way they could, but yeah, they're caught in a marriage or a situation that they've been unhappy in such a long time. You know, they're not lying about it. They just probably haven't handled you in the best way. That's all. But they're asking, your guides are asking you to forgive them. All right. Because they're a good person. Um, yeah. And they also are asking you to just kind of wait. Like, don't rush in and do anything drastic. Be smart. Plan your next move. It's okay. Like, try not to lead with so much emotion. All right, because you're going to make it worse. And we're going to go back to meditate and contemplate. And then again, I feel like this is where this romance is coming in. Like you need to spend time with this feminine. She needs to just warm up your heart space a little bit. Okay, and you lot can sit there and go, but he's married. Don't tell me to cheat. Do what you want. All right, I'm, I'm just here to read the news. And I'm telling you, this guy is not a bad guy. Marriages end all the time, people. Just saying. All right, I want to put you an animal spirit too. Do I? I do. Gemini. Boop. We got the owl. Let me see. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I'm not at home, so it's kind of hard to <laughs> setting up in other places. <laughs> it's not easy. Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Yeah, here we go. Yep, and obviously Owl's air sign. So just pointing that out. Abundance, clairvoyant treasures. The owl is a mysterious and otherworldly creature found in folklore from east to west. The white owl in this particular deck is the companion of the goddess 
Lakshmi, and represents wealth, beauty, and good fortune. When the owl card appears, it's an omen that a boon or treasure is on its way, either in a spiritual or material form. With our wisdom on your side, you'll see and know exactly what to do with this boon, how it can further serve your dharma and bring abundance to the world. Trust that the wellspring of treasures is infinite. And I just want to say something else, actually. If this, all these treasures and this good thing that is coming your way, it also means that she's going to take that in a divorce. And I feel like that's another reason why they're probably like, get out now, okay, because we're going to give you this great thing and you're going to be able to prosper from it, all right? There's a way that this masculine literally uses his third eye to create money and to create business. They could even be self-employed or be at the top of what they do, all right? Um, and then we've got, so when in balance, generous, trust, and secure. When out of balance, money quarrels, scarcity. To bring into balance an offering. All right, connect, 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 okay? Your spirit guides are trying to let you know, or they're trying to let this masculine know that everything's gonna be okay. Even if it doesn't feel that way right now, okay? You guys are gonna be all right. They want you to learn to trust yourself and connect closer to your spirit guides. How do I do that, Lily? Meditate. Clear your mind. Okay. Working out is good. You know, going to the gym, all of those good things. But there's still something in your mind that you're not able to control. And it's running around like crazy. Okay. Because I just see whatever that is. <laughs> Shut up, Lily. Dearest you, sometimes it's wonderful to give. But there are times you might find yourself overgiving. Now might be a good time to check in and see where you might be cutting off the flow of abundance. Let others give to you, even if you are more comfortable being generous and being the giver, the healer, the rescuer. In the art of living, we sometimes overlook an important skill, receiving gracefully and with gratitude, without diminishing yourself or trying to deny vulnerability or bringing an agenda of equality to it. Receiving is hard for some people, maybe you. You do not need a this for that in your exchange with others. You are doing good in the world. Let the world give back and support you. When you can give up the old stories that have you convinced, you have to do everything alone with no help. Let your well be filled. So just make sure like that, you know, you guys are talking about your situation to people that you trust, okay? And really trying to just open up, God damn it, okay? <laughs> open up. Because people can help you. People can give you support through this time, you know? It's okay. It doesn't matter how old you are or that you've had to do everything yourself anyway. We've got to change, guys. Change in direction. <laughs> the changes you are experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. And then we have child. You care deeply about children, more than likely your own, and they readily respond to your love. All children, <clears throat> sorry guys, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. And that's why I think it is as well, <coughs> sorry, with your masculine too. He really loves his kids, okay? He really does, sorry. Wait, Pinky. I'm extra. Don't worry, guys. Just orange juice, not a mimosa. All right. But your masculine is probably like, you know, really cares about his kids, you know. And but he also needs to remember that he also needs that love and tender care as well. And I don't think he's received that in a very long time. So, you know. All right, guys, it's going to be the end of that. Uh, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, you can always come to me for a personal reading, as you know. Everything you need is in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell, okay? Thank you so much. So we're going to move on to Libra. I want to change Jack. Jacks? Dex. <laughs> okay, let's go, Libra. <sighs> get in there, get in there. Sorry, guys, I'm a bit... A bit flustered today, you know what I mean? A bit tired. You know we got that eclipse, so I feel it. Trust me, that's why I look a bit raggedy today, but it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, so Libra, what's going on with my Libras, okay? So this isn't going to resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave what doesn't. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So I'd really appreciate it. Okay, Libra.
Wow, we've got prosperity. Prosperity lies ahead. So this is a new moon in Taurus. Guys, remember to check your sun, moon and rising signs. We're not just made up of one star sign. Uh, so you could have Taurus in your chart as well. Uh, and again, in the description box below, you will see a link to Little Crab Astrology's resources and you can calculate the other zodiacs in your sign, okay? But we've got prosperity lies ahead. So let's go Libra, let's do it. Let's do it, Libra. All right, what do we have coming up for Libra? Well, oh, make money, money. Oh, 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 oh. It's complicated. We've got focus. <laughs> Here's your card, Libra. Obedience. Okay. Oath. Wow. Okay, Libra, I definitely feel like... Whatever it is that you're trying to do or you're trying to focus on, okay, you're making it more complicated than what it actually needs to be, all right? They're just asking you to just show some dedication, just focus, like look at her. Look at her. See, only the wind can take her arrow off course because she is like, I'm on that bullseye and it is getting there and I'm using all my strength with this bow and arrow. So the only thing that can affect this is 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 um, outside elements, okay? They really need you to be strict with what you're doing, okay? This will be a time to be rigid, it's okay, because you do have this prosperity line ahead, all right? So I feel like Libra, there's something really great that's coming to you, okay? I almost feel like your guys just kind of want to see you dedicate yourself to what this is. All right, and maybe some of you really need to be honest about why you lack obedience sometimes, okay? All right, Libra. <laughs> yeah, I kind of see someone just overcomplicating or overthinking. All right, we've got Ten of Swords. King of Pentacles. I didn't read out the zodiacs in the other one, but it's okay. Uh, Eight of Swords. Four of Wands. And we got the Death. Ooh. But that good, because we got Six of Wands. Oh, we got Ace of Cups. Yeah, see, look, and then we've got this Nine of Swords. There's so much worry that this person is, or that you kind of feel like, how am I going to get this stability? I need it now, or, you know, I've got to put this work in, but you're struggling to kind of just get that solid work ethic maybe going. Again, only because you're overcomplicating everything, all right? But they kind of need you to have this Taurus energy, okay, like a bull. All right, relentless, okay, and going for your dreams, okay? That's what they want. So there's a situation I feel like that you guys ended, okay, and one of you may, you may have come out worse in this situation or the other person did, right? Look at that. See, they just want you to be strong, okay? Use your inner strength, okay? You can do this. All right, Libra. Yeah, I kind of feel like there was a really bad situation with someone from the past that you was with. Um, you know, you definitely felt betrayed. It was probably a really bad ending, like really, really bad. But you managed to like pull yourself back up, okay? And you started feeling fierce and you started feeling strong and you sorted some things out in your life, you know? And then maybe now you've just kind of got a bit relaxed or the fear is setting in, but they kind of need you to keep that same energy, okay? That's what they're asking you to do. Keep that energy that you had before, okay, so that you can apply it to what you're doing with this. And we got eight of wands. Yeah, so we got some communication. And look at this. You definitely have a new relationship here, okay? And if this isn't new, this is like a reconciliation with someone who was good to you in your past, all right? And you guys just get on really well together. You have a really good time. Yeah, look at that. See, 
you are the magician, you're a master of illusion as well, right? And you're able to complete anything that you want to do. Yeah, I just think this person has, because I think as well, maybe what it is with you is, you know, there's a lot of things that you could do. There's a lot of things that you could make money from. And so you're just having a hard time kind of focusing in, homing in on one thing. God, I do look raggedy. Oh, jeez. Mm -mm. Yeah, so we got conflict. Okay, we got, we got, I don't. Libra. Yeah, so we have someone here is is quite emotionally unstable. I'm going to say like, it's like this Queen of Cups energy, okay? But I don't know, mentally not that great in her mind at this time. So there's a lot of conflict coming your way. I feel like this person is watching you to see what you do next, okay? Because it's almost like they're not happy that I guess you moved on. Yeah, and we've got this three of swords and three of pentacles. And we've got the chariot. So I do see you kind of being able to deal with this situation, sort of facing it head on. Okay, there is a lot of pain. I feel like this is an old relationship that's resurfacing with drama. Okay, possibly because you've moved on. Or if you're seeing this masculine there in this situation, because you could be the new love interest in this person's life and this is the drama coming back, okay, from their past relationship. But you are the high priestess. Yeah, I almost feel like there's a couple feminines that are sort of getting involved in this situation as well, which is going to make it difficult for your masculine. Or again, if you are going through this, it's going to make it difficult for you. But if you are seeing this masculine, they decided, okay, that they love you and they just want to be with you. So they've already made that decision. There's no funny business going on with the past. Okay, they're excited that you're in their life. They're just going to have a little bit of stress coming up, okay, because they see you as the star. And they see you as someone they definitely don't want to lose. Okay, but they have to handle this. I feel like this person's really smart as well. Again, they just have someone watching their every move, what's going on. You know, they definitely feel blocked out of their life. Okay, but like I said, this feminine is very unbalanced anyway. And she's really thinking about her own stability, money, whatever. So there could just be some things tied up in the past that is coming back. But we have this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so there is definitely this new beginning when it comes to business. Yep, you're gonna take this leap of faith. All right, and we got this tower here, Libra. But we got justice, we got Wheel of Fortune, okay? And we got the moon. Yeah, so I definitely feel like everything is going to work out. It is going to be resolved. Things will move in your favor or in your masculine's favor, okay? It's just that there is some unfinished business here and it needs to be resolved. And maybe the masculine feels like he's resolved it, but he has not. He's dealing with someone who's not going to let some things go, okay? And still have some type of hold over this person as well. But there is like... There's forward movement here, okay? And again, it's this thing of like, you're going to be able to make the money that you want to make. There's definitely a new opportunity of work that is coming your way, Libra, as well. Okay, or it's another revenue, like, of income and stuff. So you're going to be good. You just need to really be dedicated to what you're doing now and don't let all these outside things complicate your mind even more, okay? You just need to be on it like Sonic. Let's have a little look, see you guys. Have a little look. Libra. I really <laughs> I didn't read. Uh, okay, Pisces, uh, Scorpio. 
Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aquarius, Pisces. Okay. I know you guys like when I read out the zodiac so you know, Let me do it for you. The time, that's fine. Just time check. All right, Libra. Sorry, guys, got a bit of the sniffles. Family. Message of concern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And thief. Ooh. Oh, really? He's my foot. Okay. But we've got unexpected income here. So this is what I'm saying. It feels like someone's going to take a loss, but it's okay because prosperity lies ahead. But you need to get focused with whatever it is that you're doing now so that when this stuff does go down, you're closer to your goal or that you've got this money coming in. So procrastination is not an option for you right now. All right. But yeah, you do have this new connection, which I was talking about. Okay. And it is stable. You've got marriage here. Okay, so I definitely feel like someone feels like they've met the one and they're, they're really committed. Yeah, and there's a new pathway opening up for you. So there's nothing to really be afraid of, but yeah. Yeah. Because some of you, you know, you might have to go through some court, some court stuff or, stuff, or something, but you might have to also have to just go into some type of mediation or you're going to be seeking legal advice at some point for something, okay? But just stay focused, all right? The universe is providing you with a gift and another way to make some more money, all right? Because maybe some of you are worried you won't be able to provide right now for your new relationship or whatever, but that is going to change for you, okay? I do feel like someone's mother's involved here, like they, they want... They either want you to go after this person or they want their child to go after this person, which could be the person that you're dealing with, right? So there's definitely other element, other people involved in this, okay? I'm not gonna pull the other deck, there's no point. Libra. We have the emperor. Use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized. A firm but compassionate leader. See? The wheel of fortune, baby. Delays are over. Sudden or unexpected good luck. A new car or travel. See? So things are going to be changing. Okay, the resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulders, the end of an addiction or codependency. Because it could just be that the ex is still dependent on your person as well and that all that's going to shift and change. And we have the lovers, beautiful Gemini, true love that is long lasting, choices made from the heart, a return to good health. So see, they're just confirming the reading, okay? Y'all got nothing to worry about. Be grateful you have much to celebrate, deep feelings of peace and happiness, a contented personal life, see? Love is always going to help this situation. So the feminine that you are, you're going to love this person through this, okay? We know that life can just throw some curveballs at us, some drama. The past is always going to come back for all of us at times, you know? And I feel like you understand that and that's why you can support your masculine when he's going through certain things, okay? But there's a nice, nice bit of luck, nice bit of windfall, but your masculine will need to keep that to himself. Okay, Libra, get more information. You'll probably be getting legal information if I'm honest with you. And especially if you're dating this masculine, like you need to make sure they tell you everything because you can't support them if you only know half of it. And then we have your ready. And then we have weight and big happy changes, okay? So if you are thinking of handling this situation in the wrong way, they suggest don't do that. Again, we don't want to put in more poison into the situation or more negative karma, okay? Because you've got big happy changes on the way, all right? And you're ready. You're ready to do what it do. You're going to be good. Where you come from? Over here. 
I'll give you an animal spirit, Libra. Why put that down there? We have the oyster. So what is that? Water. So yeah, you could have water in your chart, guys. I mean, you probably do. Okay, oyster, patience, secret keeper, hiding in the treasures. The focus and determination of the oyster is unmatched. Anything an oyster personality puts their mind to, they achieve it with grace and charm. The only problem is oyster types often take their inner gifts for granted. They become shy or doubtful, and this can lead to withdrawing or, pro or protecting their deepest desires and life's work. When the oyster card appears, it's important to reveal your inner treasures. What is it you've been hesitant to share? The world is waiting to see. When in balance, feels blessed, generous, masterful. When out of balance, reluctant, griping, clams up. To bring into balance, share something. So again, you know, I feel like your person just needs to open up to you a little bit more about why they're, f they're feeling the way that they are. And, you know, because you might be able to help them in some way or just them offloading, you know, because sometimes we tell ourselves crazy things and it just takes someone to say, that's ridiculous. Or, you know, maybe a bit more articulate than that. But, you know, to kind of just, for them to snap out of it. So you're ripping up my glass. Okay, Libra. Oneness and unity. I accept the oneness of all life and I know I am one with all others on this journey. I support them and let them support me. I am brave and not afraid to ask for assistance. I allow myself to empathize and sympathize with others and I choose to see the love in all around me. I see everything as part of my own life and I accept others for who they are. I find common ground with others rather than differences. And this brings harmony into my life and into theirs. I love that. I love it. And let's give you some angel messages. Fresh air. Your body needs refreshment from oxygen. <laughs> uh, your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside today as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. I'm getting tongue-tied today, guys. Blessing in disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. And then we got go for it. <laughs> your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since it's genius. And we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. So you can be all right. Just got to go for it. That's your reading, Libra. Go for it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give you a postcard from Spirit and then Aquarius. On to you, my loves. Is that window open? Boy, you'd have thought I was still in South London the way the sirens there are going past. <laughs> anyway. Dearest you, going the extra mile to achieve your dreams and putting in some overtime will reap big rewards. Now is the time for you to act, to stir up some energy and put those plans into action. There are many windows of opportunities that open but close quickly when you don't take the risk and go for it. Today be confident that your hard work will pay off and you'll feel that satisfaction and fulfillment of reaching your desired outcome. It might turn out even better than you'd expected. Isn't that amazing? Remember, however much work you're willing to put in, we will match it tenfold on our end. Everyone over here is rooting for you to win the game of life. So just do it. Okay. I did say okay earlier. But that's amazing, Libra. You know, we're going to have some bumps in the road, but we, we got some great things happening for you. Okay, there's love, there's money, there's, there's all this good stuff. I feel like you just got to believe in yourself, okay? Life can give us some knocks, but we've got to get back up, all right? And I feel like you've done that several times. Sometimes we just get tired. <laughs> it happens. All right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, okay? And you can contact me for a personal reading. So we are going to move on to Aquarius. 
Just thinking, what do I wanna? Okay, let's use this deck for Aquarius. Okay, guys, so this isn't gonna resonate with, okay, so let's do it properly. Hi, Aquarius, welcome. <laughs> this isn't gonna resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave what doesn't. Okay, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay, I appreciate the support. Oh no, we don't do this first, do I get carried away, guys, sorry. Okay, Aquarius. Oh, shit. Nothing will come of this situation. Sorry. I hate that one, you know, but sometimes you need to hear it as clear as day, right? Why do I want to do that? Let's go over here. Okay, I'm just checking the time. We're good. Okay. Aquarius. We got loyalty. Mm, giving it to the wrong person. Meditation. Fulfillment. Focus, man. So stop to holler at me, man. Okay, reminder. Mm -hmm. Listening. Belonging and beauty. Yeah, I kind of feel like maybe some of you, and we got cycles here, I kind of feel like some of you are choosing to put this person's, like the fact that, you know, oh, we're, we have a great time or oh, they're so good looking and, you know, everything about them when they're in their, their best light is amazing. Like they just shine so bright for you and they make you feel good. Maybe they may make you feel pretty and, you know, all those things and stuff. And so you've given them unconditional loyalty and your only focus is to be with them, make them happy. It's almost like it's always about them. They're really asking you to, because some of you are not even with this person right now, but you're just like, I'm waiting for them. I'm gonna be with them. That is my twin. I, it's more like your karmic, okay? And they're saying that nothing is gonna come of this situation. And some of you could have new love entering and you're just like, you know what? I don't really wanna entertain that over there because I'm waiting for him, okay? He ain't coming or he ain't coming for now or he ain't gonna fix up in the time that you want him to, okay? They want you to start practicing meditation because it's gonna help you release this connection and really listen to yourself. You see that orb? <laughs> wow, I love it. Uh, yeah, that was a message from them. Your guides were like, listen to Lily. <laughs> but yeah, basically, you know, this person just belongs somewhere else and it's like things are never gonna change in their situation. Okay, some of them might have a really heavy drinking problem as well. So you're kind of unable, you know, you can't heal or fix anyone. And we all know that ourselves because we've had to do the work ourselves, right? No one comes in and rescues us, okay? That happens in the movies. Movies, all right? But we, we live in reality, okay? So, you know, we can't also risk and jeopardize our own heart and happiness and waste our time, guys. Ladies, we can't get this back. One thing when I look back over my toxic relationships and when I wish I should have left and I didn't is the time. And now we can all sit here and go, yeah, but you know, you learn, you learn. But you know, guess what? We don't have to learn every karmic lesson over and over and over and over again. Like we don't. That's free will. That's your choice. Okay. Right. Aquarius. We've got the sun. Six of wands. The star. This is beautiful. And the chariot. So come on now. Let's talk about this, Aquarius. Because... You've got amazing things going on outside of this rubbish, okay? Is that my, what is that? Oh, from the hang on. Uh, you've, got, you've got all these blessings coming your way. So whatever you've been working on outside of this relationship is really about to take off, okay? Like, I mean, in a way that you never even expected. In a way that is, you blink and you're this star or you're this success or you know what I mean? 
There's all this happiness and abundance, okay, that is coming into your life. Wow, we got high priestess with six of wands. So some of you could be spiritual workers, some of you could be tarot readers, and you're finally getting recognized for like your hard work, okay? And even if it's not that you're a tarot reader, you're spiritual. So you're getting downloads, like you're having dreams, you're seeing yourself being at this success. But a lot of you are wishing and praying for this masculine, okay? It could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, or have that in their chart. Okay, but a lot of you are like, he's actually my wish fulfillment, okay? It's him, I want him, I'm praying for him, I'm doing candle work for him, I'm doing all this stuff, okay? But, and yeah, look, see, we got the lovers. But the thing is, when you tell the truth, you're over this. So you're either over waiting for this person to come back to you, or you're over dealing with them in the freaking first place, okay? You all, some of you almost feel like you don't want to be a success too quickly because you want that person to feel comfortable to you to come back. Like, that's just crazy. I'm sorry. You don't want to delay your own life, okay, and your own abundance. All right. Um, three of Wands. It's interesting though, because I feel like some of you have been praying for this type of man that you want, lies. You've been praying for your ex, okay? But you've been praying for all these extra qualities, okay? And all this healing so that they come back changed. I'm not saying you're gonna accept them back as they are. You've been praying for change, but I kind of feel like what you've been praying for is the right man for your life without you knowing it. And that's why they're bringing you justice. They're bringing you your wish fulfillment. And they're bringing you a man and it's just not in the form that you want okay but guess what it's a ten of pentacles it's even better he's stable okay he wants a family he's a provider he's sexy he's all those things all right and i feel like by you guys not having that clarity to really end this situation because some of you is mental some of you you need to mentally end this situation with an ex Okay, and it's about time that you change your perspective on this situation and, you know, your, who you want to be with. Like, you know, I feel like this new masculine coming forward is different. Like, you haven't dated someone like him before. Your type has changed. And that's what's kind of making you go, oh, no, no, no. I don't really want you. I want this person. I want my ex, you know. So I definitely feel like a lot of you are holding back on your love and emotions and things because I feel like you're, you're waiting for this person to get their lives together or you're waiting for them to come back okay because some of you this could be the father of your child you know and you're hoping that they come back changed but we got the devil knight of wands the tower eight of swords you know they're coming back they are and i feel like it's just for some fun it's just for some passion you know they might tell you everything that they that you want to hear Okay, but they're still really just trying to get into your head, okay, and seeing if they still have some form of control. And then what happens? You're going to entertain this again. They're going to throw you off your balance, all right, and how far you've come with everything else in your life. And they're going to bring you back to square one again for you now to leave sad, depressed, and having to get over it, okay? And all you're doing is looking at all the, the lost opportunities that you guys had, but you're not seeing what's behind you, okay? Look at that. There's something behind you, but you're, you're too busy looking at what you've lost, all right? And that's this new masculine coming in that's going to show you what time it is, okay? That when they walk into your life, they claim you immediately, they're not playing games, and they love you, all right? This person really wants to give you the world, okay? And they see you, like, as their whole world. Like, that's literally how they feel. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. Yeah, and we got the moon. What else is going on? What else is going on? Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like with some of you, you know, you're waiting for this person to come back and give you what you always gave them. But I just feel like even if they had made some changes, it's not going to be enough to um, have longevity in a relationship. So it could just last three months six months and then it's done and then you know you gave this person a chance and you missed out on this masculine who's literally about to marry you okay i don't care how long you know them for they won't marry you it's as simple as that they want to give you this life and i feel like if you really just let release your ex and gave this person a chance you'd fall in love with them too for sure and i just think a lot of you are going to be making that right decision for your life soon we've got ace of cups because you want love you want the stability 
okay? This person's gonna get on with your friends, family, everything, all right? You can be pregnant if you want, okay? If, if it's a baby you're looking for, if it's all those things, it's the kids, it's the house, it's all that, you can have it with this person. They see you as the empress. So once they walk into your life, they're not walking out. They know they found gold, okay? Or diamonds. You diamonds. Oh, okay. All right. Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Scorpio, Sag, Gemini, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Sag, yeah. Aquarius. Mature woman, gift, in female, mature man. Oh. Oh, sorry, guys, I've been reading so much over the last three days, so I'm a bit tired and I'm so hungry. <laughs> it's amazing how much energy you lose when you're constantly reading, like, it's nuts. <laughs> I ain't complaining. I like my food. Okay. What you got? Yeah, you know what? I think some of you have kind of felt like, you know, your work is not doing too good or you're not making enough money. Maybe some of you are self-employed. Oh, okay. kind. But it's all going to change. There's money coming in for you. Okay. There's stability. I definitely, there's love here. They're asking you to look after your health better. Okay. And you know what, there's this ex that's coming back to say, look, I'm gonna give you something, like here's a gift, or I'm gonna take care of you, or here's a ring, or whatever, but you just can't trust them. They are trying to get you into another cycle, okay, of bullshit. Be careful. Wow. <laughs> I definitely see you lot taking a work trip, okay? I know COVID ain't doing too good around right here. But I do, I, I kind of see something like you're going to be traveling for work as well. All right, there's contracts coming in. Or what it is, is maybe you're not doing the traveling, but there's contracts coming in from overseas. Okay, um, so that's definitely coming up for you. Okay, because you guys have been working extremely, extremely, extremely hard. Okay, and if you was going through sort of being broke or not really having any money to do anything, that is about to change. Okay, for sure. Yeah, because we have a new pathway opening up for you. All right. And what it is as well is your ex is seeing all this success or they're seeing you so much more happier or they're hearing a lot about you and they're like, no, 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 no. where are you going? <laughs> okay. What, you seeing someone now? Okay. And then they realize that whatever you've got going on is a serious relationship. All right. But you, the universe is calling you to marriage with this person. All right, so this ex is just coming back to make trouble. They can't give you commitment. They can't be solid. They can't do any of that, okay? And I get that you feel this person is your twin and you love them very much, but ladies, time, yeah? Time. We don't know what's happening with us tomorrow, okay? And you don't wanna tap out of this life with all these regrets and feeling upset with yourself because you didn't go after the things that you wanted or you stayed stuck on someone for way too long, okay? You don't want that. Aquarius. Yeah. Let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life-changing event, a situation that leads to significant opportunities. You know, I feel like the universe is moving you further and further away by giving you all of this abundance anyway, you know? Indecision is holding you back. Makes a choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. Get advice from someone professional and objective. Public speaking. 
unemotional relationships. Yeah, so you're gonna have some masculines coming into your life that guess what, they don't want nothing from you, they don't wanna sleep with you. Okay, maybe in their head. I'm, I'm sure you're hot. So, but at the end of the day, they're about business. They don't mix it. They probably had all those cycles like in their younger days. They're not gonna be doing that. They just wanna help you, okay? And if you go to them, they will be able to um, give you some advice. And then we have children or childhood, the return or people of romances from your past, remembering events differently in a better or worse light than they really occurred. And I feel like that's what it is. This person's gonna try and talk you around and be like, look, it wasn't that bad. Didn't really do that. Or I did that because of that. And you did that, which made me do that, whatever. We've got wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring rewards, success and public recognition. Yes, come on Aquarius. Take steps to ensure financial security of your children or other loved ones, making wise investments or planning for retirement, honoring family tradition. So yeah, I feel like it's a big deal for you guys to support your families, support your kids, you know, or yeah, maybe you already have children, you know, and you wanna support them and stuff. Like you're gonna be able to do that. And in fact, you'll be making money where you'll be able to invest it so that you could, you know, your money will grow basically. Isn't it brilliant? Okay, Aquarius, we got the Vulture, oh god, wow, open a page, Guardian and Purify, essential for rebalance, the Vulture is perhaps the most misunderstood creature of all, this intriguing bird balances our ecosystem and prevents the spread of disease, it does the dirty work that no one else wants to do and cleans up our messes. The vulture appears when there's a situation that needs to be purified or brought back into balance. Remember the vulture is greatly undervalued. What you thought was a mistake or tragedy is a blessing in disguise. When in balance clarifies, reveals wisdom. When out of balance, dramatic, aggressive. To bring into balance, clean your space, sage. Okay, so guys, this is gonna be a really good time to get into your a spiritual practice of some kind. Doesn't have to be that deep, but learn how to cleanse, okay? You really do. And it could be very simple. You can get some palisanto or you get some sage, okay? Um, just start smudging out your house, okay? If you've got any old clothing items that remind you of that person or that person bought you, now I think is a good time to start, you know, getting these negative energy things away from you, okay? Okay. Meditation and silence. I sit still in meditation regularly as I know there is a power in silence. I seek out stillness during some part of every day. In the silence, I am open to receive without asking, without expectation. In the silence, I will hear and see the truth. Rest, tranquility and peace are rejuvenating to my spirit. Miraculous emotional, mental and physical healings are available when I'm open to receive. So yeah, guys, get into your meditation. All right, they're trying to give you these downloads. They're trying to help you receive this information, okay? Let's give you some angel messages. The ocean. The deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into this healing wound brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. And then we've got daydream. You will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. But I feel like you guys have been having these little quick glimpses, you know, into like what you're gonna be and you know, what could happen for you and where this could really go. Even if you tell yourself, nah, ain't gonna be that big. Mm -mm. Dream it, bigger the better. If you see my dreams sometimes, like when I'm daydreaming, if I told anyone, they'd be like, you wish. So I keep them to myself and I just dream, okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> guys, no. Nothing will come of this situation, no. Your guides are saying no, this person's gonna, I don't want to swear too much. Your person's going to mess with your legacy. They're trying to protect your vision, guys. They're trying to protect this dream that you might even think is unobtainable, right? But they know better. It's no. Listen to your intuition. 
You know what they're telling you, my loves. This person's just not ready for you yet, okay? The situation will improve because, at, and we've got big happy changes, all right? So even though you feel like you're gonna be letting this person go, it's going to improve. You're gonna feel okay because the, the, the universe is bringing you this abundance and it's like they're just pulling, they're just pulling you out. They're pulling you out, okay? It's like a helicopter with a, the ladder coming down. It's like, jump on and save yourself. Get out of there, come on. It's that kind of thing. Postcard from Spirit, my lovelies. That was two. You just want one for Aquarius. Don't be greedy now. Okay. Dearest you, isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again full circle in ways you could not possibly have planned? You wonder how a dream could die only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. You thought it was time back then, but your wisdom knows better than your small self, whose desires are unmet. Now here you are with a new opportunity to do things from a different, more mature perspective. We want you to trust that in this new opportunity for rebirth, you will be called in two directions and the one that is unfamiliar will be the right one. In the unknown spaces, the uncharted places of infinite potential, we are waiting to guide you into your fullest life. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. You have come full circle. And now you can see that everything changes, is made new, and is given you hope. Guys, this was a beautiful reading, and I know it's going to hurt your heart, but please, your guides know what is best for you, okay? They don't want you to continuously waste your time, all right? They don't want you to waste your greatness, Okay, they're trying to offer you this fulfillment. Okay, take it. <laughs> All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, again, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, okay? And hit the notification bell, thank you. And you can also reach out to me on Instagram as well. And I love you guys so much. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.